Good morning and happy Thursday, everybody. I hope you're having a wonderful week. This week for our episode of Simplicity Made Simple, I want to talk to you guys about mindfulness. Now, it can sound kind of new agey. It can sound kind of like yoga, like breathing and meditation, but it doesn't have to feel weird or strange. Mindfulness is simply being mindful, being aware of what you're doing and acting with intention. And that's a huge thing for me and in my life because there was a time when I felt really overwhelmed and really lost. Like I just had no idea what I was doing. Like nothing felt like it had any kind of meaning or significance, but I really wanted those things in my life. And I know I'm not the only one who has felt that way. The only one who has felt like I was getting up and going through my daily routine, um, you know, getting up, getting ready, eating breakfast, going to work, going home, making dinner, paying some bills, maybe running an errand and going to bed and getting up the next day to just do it all over again. And I wanted more. I wanted to be making choices that felt like they were actually leading me somewhere. I wanted to feel like I was investing in the things that were important to me and living by my priorities and my values and not just living by default. So I want to talk to you guys today about how you can make that switch um, because I did and it makes a big difference. Now it doesn't necessarily um, transform your life in a complete 180 in the way that um, you know you have a different job or all of a sudden you have twice as much free time um, or you don't have the responsibilities that you currently have. It's more of an internal thing. It's about focus. It's about Um, deciding how and where you're going to invest your time and your energy. And it's about an attitude adjustment, which can help you deal with those circumstances that may or may not be changing, um, that may or may not be what you want them to be. And I think that's even more important, changing our hearts, changing our attitudes, than it is to simply try to change our circumstances. So how can we be more mindful? How can we transform our lives from the inside out? Mindfulness is essentially turning your values into your priorities, your priorities into your goals, and your goals into your routines. So if you start with your values, figure out what's most important to you. What things do you actually value above all else? Write those things down. Writing them down just makes it so much easier to focus on them and remember them and not lose sight of them because the craziness and busyness of everyday life makes it really easy to lose sight of what's important. So write down those values. And then based on your values, decide what your priorities are. What things are you going to invest in based on what's important to you? So if your health is important, then maybe you're going to prioritize exercise or healthy eating. Um, If spending time, sorry, if your family is important to you, then maybe one of your priorities is turning your phone or computer off at five so that you can spend the evening with your family or completely disconnecting for the weekend so that you can spend time with your family or even saving money and budgeting so that you can save up for a family vacation. Um, Whatever that looks like for you, turn those values into your priorities. And then those priorities become your goals, saving that specific amount for a vacation by a specific date or getting up at a specific time to work out for a specific length of time so many days a week or drinking so many glasses of water to support your health or talking to a coach about starting your own business so that you can have more freedom in your schedule and help more people doing what you love turn those priorities into specific goals and attach a timeline to them And then based on those goals, you establish your routines. You get up at the same time every day and get in that workout. You go for a walk on your lunch break every day. You call a friend every week to stay in touch. You set aside every Friday night for a dinner and movie night with your family. Um, You set aside every Sunday as a day of rest to unplug and relax before jumping back into the week. Whatever that looks like for you. You create your routines based on those goals that were derived from your priorities that came from your values. So that process can make it a lot simpler and a lot more understandable when you're looking at mindfulness. The other step to mindfulness is just continually asking yourself why. And that might make you feel like a two-year-old, 
But if you just ask why, you can really dig deep and figure out what things are important to you and what things you should still hold on to compared to what things maybe aren't serving you anymore and would actually be better for you to let go of. So if you ask, why am I doing what I'm doing? You know, is this activity really important? Is this really helping me? Is this still something that's beneficial? And then ask, why am I feeling what I'm feeling? Whether you're tired or sad or discontent or happy or joyful, it's both sides of that spectrum asking why you feel what you're feeling so that you can notice those patterns. Notice the things that bring you joy. Notice the things that stress you out. And then you can figure out what to do about them when you continually ask why. Well, why is this making me upset? Um, What is it about this situation or this interaction or this relationship that is making me disappointed or making me elated? And then dig into that. Because once you know the answers to those questions, you can weave more of those things, more of those positive things into your life And you can deal with some of the negative things and often even remove some of them from your life so that you can experience more joy and abundance in your life. And then ask why you're saying yes or no to specific opportunities. Is it because of obligation? Is it because our culture tells you that you should be something specific or do something specific? Is it because all your friends are doing it? Is it because you really want to be doing it? Is it because you would feel guilty saying no? Think about those things. Um, because the things that you are going to do the absolute best at are the things that you personally are passionate about, not the things that you are guilted or obligated into doing. So consider that and just be mindful of what you participate in. Ask yourself why and just be willing to breathe and take a step back and gain perspective before you react to things. Ask why. Pursue those values, those priorities, those goals, and those routines so that you can be more mindful in the decisions that you're making every day. And that goes for your health, that goes for the food you eat, that goes for the relationships you're a part of, that goes for your own attitude and emotional well-being, the words that you say. It really can be applied to everything. And it sounds like a lot at first, but if you really just think about who it is that you want to be then you can pursue those goals and live more mindfully and just enjoy life more and be the kind of person that you want to be. Okay. I hope that helps you guys today. That is all I have for today, but I will talk to you guys again soon. As always, if you have any comments or questions, put them in the comments and I will get back to you. I love connecting with all of you. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Bye.